Welcome. What I'm going to be showing today is how to use the new Airtable Assistant to specifically create an automation. I needed to create this automation this morning, so I'm just going to use the Assistant and see if it saves me time and show you kind of how powerful this Assistant is because I've been using it for the past few weeks, actually, kind of in this beta, in this alpha or beta program that they have. Uh, and it's been pretty, pro pretty powerful. So excited to show you this today. If you haven't met me yet, my name is Ben Green. I'm one of the co-founders of Optimize IS. All we do every day is help people build things in Airtable. So if you want help or you just want a second set of eyes on what you built, feel free to schedule a call down in the link in the description. Just go to our website, book a call, and we'll help you out. Uh, but what I'm going to do is just, I'm already in an Airtable base. And if you don't have AI enabled, you will have to go enable AI. But once you do, you have access to this AI assistant. So when you click on that, it opens this little chat bot up here. Uh, if you're in the interfaces, you would need to get to the automations to see kind of exactly what I'm looking at right here. Uh, so you also have to have base access to be able to create new interfaces, create automations, create tables using AI, the Airtable AI Assistant. So I need to ask it a question. I need it to create a new automation for me. Uh, and I'm going to be using some specific language that is specific to the data structure in our base to try to make it easier for this automation to work. And I'm going to try to be as maybe as prescriptive, prescriptive as possible. We'll see if that bites me in the butt or not. Um, what I want to do is I want to every day send a Slack message with the people who applied the day before. Only send the message if the length of the find records was greater than zero. Applied were created in the team table the day before. All right, so every day I want to send a Slack message with the people who applied slash were created in the team table the day before. Only send the message if the length of the rec find records was greater than zero. So this is the part where I've been struggling to get it right with the AI assistant transparently. We'll see how it does this time because I was pretty very prescriptive there. I know that's the way that it will need to work. So we'll see what it does. So all you have to do is just ask it a question kind of in plain text in natural language. You could ask it without using half the terms that I used. Uh, I'm just on a few versions of this. So I want to see if this works, but it's going to think a little bit. It's going to look at, look at your data schema, try to see, okay, your team table is maybe spelled differently. Maybe it has an emoji on it. Um, and then it's going to go create this new automations. So it keeps doing the same thing. So it's pretty close. There's just a little bit of cleanup that needs to happen, but this is pretty good. It named it properly. It did this properly. So it's going to say every one day at 9 AM, go find records in the team table where the created date is yesterday. That is all right. Uh, here's it's going to, what this is going to do, I just want it to work slightly different. It's going to repeat for every person that it found. Uh, I just want it to send one message with everybody it found, but this is, it, it's not wrong the way that it did, the way that it did this, but this is what it has. So it connected to a Slack account already. That's awesome. I just have to pick which channel. And then here I just say find records. I'm going to just drag this right behind the find records. And we're going to delete this group uh, because what you can't do in Airtable is you can't have a repeating list and a repeating group. So we just have to make a minor edit. Just This is just my personal preference on the way that I want this automation to work. Uh, we just say if conditions are met and then find records. We'll go length of those records. If it's greater than zero, we'll send the message. And actually we can just test this as well. Actually, it's going to display the names of the people. So I don't want to call out anybody who's applied to us. This is our actual database in their table. Um, so it's going to, I'm going to select the channel here in a second, but basically here we're going to say 
names. And then here, we're going to go down into field values of this find records. And we'll choose name then. So here are the details of new applicants who applied yesterday, names. And then I'll probably include like a link to the base. And then I'll just include a link there. Other things I usually like to do is I like to update the bot name here to be um, I like to use the robot emoji there. And then I'll generate a preview and turn this on. All I have to do is select the Slack channel. So that's how easy it is. This would have taken me probably twice as long to create in the past. Now, I, there's sometimes a few tweaks you have to make. make. Um, but it gets you most of the way there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the other cool things we could do, so this is AI assistant. The other cool things we could do is we could use the generate with AI step that exists natively just within Airtable's automation steps. And we could generate a text to maybe summarize all of the data about the applicants. Uh, that is definitely an option. So if you wanted to kind of go to the next step which is like integrating AI into your workflows. It's using these automation AI components, using field AI components, and using this AI assistant just more routinely. So hope you found value out of this and put a comment if you've used AI assistant and what you used it for, uh, and click the link here in the end of the video to go watch how to use this generate with AI and the automation. I'll see you there.